What first tipped you off that your neighbor was weird crazy not right? When his daughter was screaming on their front lawn that he was abusive, we called the cops. They continued to be a delight to live next to, until we, thankfully, moved a year later. There are so many more stories to this I can sense. I was out front working on something and had my schnauzer with me. He was on a long lead that was tied off and could not reach the sidewalk. The crazy old guy a few houses down decided to come over to introduce himself. At this point we had lived here for over a year and he never made any attempt to say hello. He would just glare at us whenever we passed his house. He showed up carrying a 4 feet long 1 inches rod and announced he brought it in case he needed to hit my dog. Well what a coincidence. I just bought a gun just in case you hit my dog. When I was first moving into my house a couple neighbors came over to introduce themselves. Regular old suburban dudes with their kids. Great guys. I ask about the neighborhood and crap like that. They both kind of glance across the street. You met Ed yet? Nah. We just got here. Yeah. Nice guy. Divorced. Travels a lot. His door is always open though. I was like aw how nice. What a wonderful place to have bought my family's first home. Yep. Not a euphemism. Ed leaves. Sometimes for a week at a time. Front door just blowing in the wind. Wide the frick open. When he is home the door is also open. His car is parked half in the front yard. And he is rocking out to Bon Jovi and other 80s type stuff. Ed is probably living the dream on some level. Not a care in the world. But it is a little odd to behold. Ed sounds like future me. He kept 9 Rottweilers in his one bedroom. Third floor flat. He took them for walks attached to a stolen supermarket trolley. Despite this he never flooded the place. Or set fire to it. So still counts as one of our best neighbors. She went batshit crazy on us when another neighbor's trash spilled out into the cul de sac. Not even our trash. Lady. Chill the frick out. Well if you weren't all messy heathens. When she called the cops for a noise complaint at about 9.30pm on a Friday night. They showed up. Knocked on the door and looked around confused and half embarrassed. Cops. We're here about a noise complaint. Were you. Um. Having a party before or something? Us. Well. We're playing board games and have some music on. Cops. Music dongs his head as if listening carefully. I'm okay. Well. Keep. Keeping it down I guess. This became a semi-regular thing. And at some point the cops stopped showing up. She then switched to calling our landlord anytime we were hanging out in our living room. Existing at normal volume levels after 8pm. The landlord was like your neighbor. I think she's maybe crazy. Yes. Yes she was. At a house I used to live at a lady and her handicapped husband lived across from our driveway. They were about in their late 70s in about 1994 or so. I bought my wife a new Mitsubishi Eclipse and the lady came over and screamed at me for about 20 minutes for buying a Jap car. Then she really lost her crap when I bought a Mazda pickup truck. I planted a tomato garden and she came over to berate me because while I was gone for a long weekend some overripe tomatoes fell to the ground and were wasted. And she informed me that from now on she would inspect my garden daily to ensure there was no waste. Thinking about it for a while it became obvious that this couple grew up during the depression and her husband was a disabled World War II veteran. She hated the Japanese and she despised any sort of perceived waste of food. I told her she could take as many tomatoes as they needed, and after that she pretty much left me alone. The result of years of terror no doubt. When I found out he murdered his wife, stabbed her 13 times apparently, did his time, then was my neighbor, really quite guy, friendly, but that's just it something you hear and don't forget about. Oh my lord 13 times is a rage kill. I wonder what caused him to snap, and also what allowed him out of prison later on. What a timely post. A new person moved into the apartment next to me last weekend and has been making non-stop noise ever since, which is understandable having just moved, but it goes on almost 24 stroke 7. I'm a bad sleeper and awake frequently at 2, 3, 4 am and there is loud banging and crashing every night. Well last night, at 2.50 am he went out on his balcony and just shouted nonsense and said mother sucker about 50 times. So I suspect he is not right in the head. Time will tell. The last BF1 update has not been well received. He let me swim in his pool when I was a teenager but would stare at me on his deck the whole time. 
three years later he got caught with child pee all over his computer. Wow that's... I'm sorry. Blaring Mexican music at 4am, while dancing by herself outside by the fire pit. She's a nice old lady, but she's a little crazy. That's the best kind of nice old lady to be, you should talk to her, maybe she'll have some quest to send you on after an enlightening speech. This isn't super extreme, but we had neighbors who would let their dog out off the leash and then be shocked when he didn't come back. We'd hear them screaming Silas all the freaking time. I guess they were a little weird and definitely stupid. Sitting outside one day with my boyfriend and my neighbor walks over with his bike and starts showing it off. Pointing out the neon colors. Talking about how fast he can ride it down the sidewalk, etc. He then proceeded to get on the bike and show us that he can do a wheelie. This neighbor is a 30 something year old grown man, with no intellectual disabilities, just a lot of drug use. Well I mean wheelies are pretty impressive. Mild, but, mows his lawn constantly, like, he's out every day with his lawnmower trimming the grass, and gives me dirty looks when I'll let mine get too long, compared to his. I haven't decided if he hates his family, or just loves lawn maintenance. My neighbor mows his lawn probably 3 to 4 times a week, and twice per mow, he will now it once one direction and again the other direction to make a checkered pattern. I don't ever get dirty looks, but he always signals me to slow down as I pass, no matter what speed I'm going. Interesting guy. Oh man, I grew up across the street from a legitimate crazy lady, some of the things she has done. Called the cops on my dad for mowing her waist high lawn. She came home midway through the mowing and flipped crap. After the officer heard her side and went to talk to my dad. They told him that she claimed my parents sneak into her house at night to tie bows in her shoes and leave dimes around the house to assert dominance. They let my dad off with a warning. Threw dog crap into the street and in the general direction of neighbors. Rattled the doorknob of her next door neighbors at 3 a.m. With a dead look in her eyes, regularly turned away from neighbors while walking on opposite sides of the street to wave at the sky. Flashed my old man neighbor. He served as a medic in World War II and told my dad that was the most disgusting thing he'd ever seen. Regularly yelled at the neighborhood preteen girl, calling her a SW, and to enjoy letting the boys play with her. At first it was funny, but over time I just started to feel really bad for her. When she first moved in. When I was 9 or so, she was a very nice lady, but she must have stopped taking her meds or something. Upvoting because it was the most disgusting thing he'd ever seen. A combo of two things. 1. Hearing the mom and daughter get into full on yelling matches with each other, that could be heard inside of my own house, with their and our windows closed. 2. Their collection of old bus lawnmowers in the backyard that I never saw them use or even touch. Extra credit, a friend of my dad went over to their house once to ask them about possibly using one of the lawnmowers. He looked in the window, and saw a classic case of hoarding. He then had the massive balls to walk into the house. He said it was exactly like what you see on TV. Massive stacks of random crap, little pathways from one room to another. Their dog had made a nest somewhere in the house. The fridge was apparently a disaster, with old, rotten, Moldy food crammed into every shelf. It was a crazy breach of privacy, but interesting to hear the results when he came back. We knew they were bad. No dad. Mother didn't have clue. And two teens boy and girl running wild. We only had a couple months left on our lease so we stayed. Then one day the cops show up. Eight cars. A van and one of those command trucks. They went in and out of the house from about 9am till dark. It was on the news. Mom and kids arrested. Weed and crack found. The worst was the guns. These kids had nearly 200 guns, rifles and pistols. All stolen. Some had been used in crimes. Their landlord emptied the house the next day and we never saw them again. Whoa. It's our superintendent. And when I caught him peering into my bathroom window while I was cleaning the tub was basically the deciding factor. Also my dog doesn't like him. Trust your dog. Grew up next door to a guy who was breastfed until he was 6 or 7. Parents slept in separate beds then eventually separate rooms. He often shared the same bed with his mother until he was 11 or 12. He is all kinds of fricked up now. I had a neighbor that would inject drugs into her boobs while she was pregnant. It made her skin look half rotten. 
it was covered with these strange black bumps. She liked showing her cleavage, so it wasn't hard to find out. I feel like she isn't fit for motherhood. I'm not sure if this constitutes weird crazy not right but, he had this big lifted truck and for no reason he would just rev the engine every day. He would sit in his truck and just rev the engine. One night he got into a fight with his girlfriend and he screamed at her and got in the truck got in it and just well revved the engine. If you listen real hard you still still, faintly, hear his sobs over the roar of the engine. Buddy was tipped off by having the tip of a butt hit his mouth. Friend of mine told me this story. He moved into a basement apartment, like a normal decent person went upstairs to introduce himself to the neighbor. When he opened the door after saying hello and all that good stuff, neighbor offered my buddy a sip of Pepsi. He was holding a 2 liter bottle. Kinda nice. Kinda odd. But whatever. My buddy was actually thirsty so he accepted and took a sip. But something hit his lip. And he made a face. And the neighbor goes oh did you get a butt. He went on to explain how he liked to drink Pepsi with cigarette butts in them. Something about the flavor or some crap. All while my friend is just standing there with a horrified look on his face. It's like WTF is that? You think someone else would enjoy that crap and just offer it to them? R gross. I've yet to meet them. And they seem nice enough. Except for the fact that my next door neighbors in my new apartment leave their door open almost all of the time. And their pad is full of grotesque, macabre dolls hanging by their necks all around the apartment. That sounds like a fair way to get good airflow with no fear of burglary. 1. He keeps a telescope mounted on a tripod aimed at our bedroom window from his bedroom window. There's a nightlight near the telescope, so we can see movement, but it's hard to tell what he's really up to. 2. He has 7 sets of wind chimes hanging on the porch, all tuned in different keys. Thus, they create an annoying cacophonic din on windy nights. That's privacy invasion. I'd photograph it and turn it into police. The could order a cease and desist. When I was younger my neighbor had supposedly set up a tent in his house and wanted me to come over and play I was like 8 years old at the time. Just WTF. I am so glad you didn't go inside that house. I like to sit in my car in my driveway for a while after I get home and I noticed that cars would pull up to my neighbor's house and he would walk out and they would exchange things through the window then the car would drive off. I assumed they were selling drugs. I also noticed that all the guys who'd come over were all bald and tatted so I made the assumption that they were white supremacists. A few weeks ago the D came and busted them for drugs and turns out they're part of a prolific white supremacist group after all. Meanwhile, your neighbor is posting here, she gets home from work and just sits in the car. I don't get it, she has a nice house, huge TV, decent yard, but nope, she wants to sit in her car. Summoned us over to the fence to pet a baby raccoon he had just found, then made us promise not to tell our parents. Later they assured us that the raccoon was tame, they knew this for certain, see, because they slept with it every night. Constructed a cage taller than their actual house with plans to fill it with feral cats, no dividers or separate cells, just a giant wire box, before the city made them take it down. Not only was it four kinds of illegal, but of all the places, they built it right up against the line of our property where we kids would play on our playground. Blamed the failure of their cat palace on us. Put a letter in the mailbox of everyone in our neighborhood warning them to keep their pets indoors because my parents were catching and killing people's cats. Beat his wife with a vacuum cleaner. Got into a fist fight with the cops. Jumped into his car and tore off in the shortest car chase ever as the cops shot out his tires before he got a few meters down the street. Oh boy, I could go on. These guys were a train wreck. Beat his wife with a vacuum cleaner. Somehow, I find this tidbit to be the most absurd of all the things to abuse someone with. When I figured out he throws imaginary parties, he sets up chairs and starts a fire in his pit and blasts his radio. It took a little while to realize he wasn't on a Bluetooth and was actually talking to his imaginary guests. Comma go be his friend. My neighbor is a prostitute. She dressing like a prostitute and receiving multiple men a day at her apartment tipped me off. This is pretty much beyond reasonable doubt. If you saw her, you'd know what I mean. She's a nice lady, though.
I often dress like a prostitute and receive multiple men a day at my apartment but I'm just a s. Probably when he came over drunk and introduced himself to me and my mom. We were on our porch smoking a cigarette and my at the time 3 year old was running around the porch playing. He came up and we got to small talking and asked what there was to do for fun here since we just moved here. His response, creepy chuckle well I masturbate a lot and smear crap on my walls. I mean it's good to have honest neighbors. 5 year old me was running around the apartment having fun like 5 year olds do when we got a call on the house phone and I picked up to hear my downstairs neighbor telling me he's going to break my legs. When we moved in next to them in North Carolina mid 90s, the wife of an older couple came over and asked us if we wanted a ride to church that Sunday. My parents had already scoped it out and found the local Catholic church. So my mom tells this to the woman who then says to mom, Oh honey, you don't want those two little boys going to heck, do you? We'll pray for you. The husband would go out into the yard at 5.30 in the morning, hack up disgusting phlegm, and let out their little dog. Roly, do your business. Roly intense coughing good dog. Good times. At the time, I was 20, and had just moved into an apartment complex on the second story floor. The neighbor in question was somewhere in his 40s, living alone, on the first floor. This was also about two years ago, but I still remember that after being there for only the first two days, my downstairs neighbor was starting to make plans with me, involving him, his 12 year old daughter, whom he had partial custody of on the weekends, and myself. Suggesting things like we could all go to the zoo, movies, dinner outings, and immediately started talking to me about having me to his place, and following me into mine, because, in his words, it was a gentlemanly thing to do, and to make sure I was safe. Despite the fact we lived a few feet apart, he quickly confessed to feeling an infatuation sexual tension with me. I started feeling as though he was just trying to find a replacement mom for his kid and start the relationship with me out of severe neediness, especially due to hearing he had gone through a terrible divorce, which is what led him to live in the apartment complex to begin with. Needless to say, I confronted the landlord about everything that was going on, and all she said was to ignore him, after stating that was just who he was. So, I avoided him at all costs for the remainder of my stay, but eventually left due to financial issues, despite him offering to help pay. TL. DR. Neighbor in his 40s wanted a relationship with 20 year old me, and that he already pictured a life together after only knowing me for 2 days. Oh god I feel sorry for him and you. When she screamed at our dogs over our shared back fence, screamed, you stop that barking right now. It was Sunday afternoon of a holiday weekend, and my in-laws were in town, and we were sitting outside on our deck just drinking a glass of wine and relaxing. Our two dogs were playing tug of war with a rope, and the younger one started barking. He had been barking for maybe 30 seconds, a minute, she started screaming over the fence so of course the dog got very excited and started running around like a maniac until we could get him inside. I honestly don't think she realized we were in the yard with the dogs. So then my husband went over to the fence to apologize and she went on a rant about how the dogs are always out here barking. False. They live inside and we bring them in if they start barking at all when we are home and they're outside. Since these people, my husband and I, who had bought our home almost a year prior and whom she had met before, moved in. Then she threatened to sue us. Later we went to apologize to our other neighbors about our dogs barking, since we figured maybe they barked a lot more than we realized when we weren't home and maybe despite them being inside the house it was bothering people. Every other neighbor said they never noticed it. One of our neighbors then let us know they were afraid of this lady, because she's been known to file complaints with the city on pretty much anyone who annoyed her, going as far to drive one woman out of the neighborhood altogether. Batty old woman. I can't stand her. Haven't seen or heard anything from her at all in the year since this incident happened. We heard him in having a loud argument with someone. Didn't take long to realize the other voice was his as well. So we listened to this guy have his argument for a while. Then the makeup sex started. Guy moved in next door, and we started trying to be neighborly. He was kinda quiet and reserved, so we kinda decided to not bother him. Then he pulled out a 9mm and started shooting at a makeshift target in his backyard. 
thankfully not pointed at outhouse, but pointed right at a small lake maybe a hundred yards away behind our houses and near other residences that kids were swimming in, unbeknownst to him. That was a very uncomfortable afternoon, and a long conversation with the police as a witness. Thankfully, no one was injured, and nothing seemed to have been hit, but he just got a slap on the wrist, a warning from the police, who told us that he came from Poland and was very clearly a bit drunk, and was just unaware that there could be issues involved with firing his gun off in the direction of residences. Somehow, that wasn't very comforting. Especially knowing the neighbors that live back they had met with him the day before and had gotten into a fight with him over some harebrained scheme he had to block off their road as some sort of pee match. I've told this story on another thread before but I'll tell it again. I was about 6 years old and lived in an apartment with my parents. We had new neighbors that had just moved in, and they seemed very nice. The man was a university lecturer. Two weeks later we smell something burning and my dad notices copious amounts of smoke coming out of their lounge window. He of course gets worried and goes to investigate. Turns out they wanted to do some cooking over an open fire but seeing as we live in an apartment block they decided to just make a fire in the middle of their wooden dining room table and cook on it. May I just repeat again that this guy was a university lecturer. People with advanced degrees are often very common sense challenged. With one in particular that I know. I'm amazed she's managed to live to a ripe old age instead of dying horrifically in a freak accident of her own making. Me in my friend's house 4 o'clock in the morning. Me and a friend sitting playing Rocket League. Bang. Bang. A random huge Russian man with a huge drunk German shepherd at the door. Call cops and spend an hour trying to tell him that it isn't us that are being loud. It's the other names across the street. The other names are outside screaming at each other at least twice a week. He was drunk and couldn't understand us. After an hour he finally went home. We returned to Rocket League and the police arrive at 5.55. Took 2 hours for the frick head police to get here. The station is 30 seconds away. I was living in a small apartment complex with only 6 units. 3 on top. 3 on bottom. But my upstairs neighbor slowly went crazy over the course of a few weeks. Probably due to drugs. He'd always been a stoner. But I guess he had started experimenting and it really screwed him up. The first sign was when my boyfriend and I were coming home late one night and the neighbor, I'll call him Jake, was outside looking worried. But when we asked him what was up he said he heard screaming and crying coming from the unit next to us. There were two kids and their parents who lived there, but all the lights were out and it was obvious everyone was asleep. We thought maybe the parents had been fighting earlier and Jake was being paranoid, so we said goodnight and told him not to worry. It only escalated from there. He became obsessed with this family. His drug scorched mind convinced him that the mom was abusing the children, and he even accused her of molesting them. This being a small complex. Everybody knew everybody and helped care for each other's kids, so they all knew this was total crap. The mother was understandably furious and hurt by his accusations, as they had been close when he was sober. She didn't blame him though, she kept trying to tell him to stop with the drugs and that they were screwing him up. His fixation on this family drove him to do some weird things. He drew weird chalk circles around their front door and even tried to barricade them inside with some porch furniture. I saw him multiple times hiding behind the railing upstairs for no apparent reason and heard all kinds of crashing and muttering at all hours of the night. When Jake started trying to talk to the kids about his weird accusations, his whole face painted red for whatever reason, the mom snapped. She yelled at him to stay away from her children and to get help and he yelled back that she was an evil woman hurting her family. She ultimately decided to call the police, but cried the entire time they questioned her. She was crying that she had lost both a friend and a neighbor to whatever awful substances he had put in his body. I'm not sure what happened to Jake. M. Not even once. When the first time I saw them after they moved in he was screaming at his wife for letting the dogs out and kicking the puppy that had gotten out. Fast forward to 5 months later when their 5 kids have been taken away from them by child protective. That man should burn in satan's fiery butthole. I lived in an apartment building where me front door was next to my bedroom. I was alone in bed sleeping. My so had a party and I knew there would be some drinking involved. I woke up from heavily snoring. Like really really loud. I remember thinking my so drank way too much and I reached over to give a push. Nobody there. 
I thought maybe my so was drunk crashed in the hallway. Lights on. Nobody there. The sound came from the front door so then of course I thought my so would have been so drunk that the key was difficult and fell asleep right trying to get in. I still don't know why I thought all this because my so doesn't drink a lot and isn't snoring either. So I opened my front door and a horrible smell was up in my nose immediately. Old beer. Old pee. Old cigarettes and old puke. It was so bad it gagged. I see only the feet and the legs of a person and I knew this wasn't my so. At this point I was really worried because this person was blocking my door and my so would come home at some point. So I tried calling and heard the phone ringing in the living room. I then called the police. I told them a hobo was sleeping in front of my door and was snoring so hard I couldn't sleep. Some time later I hear the police trying to wake the person and at some point the person became really angry. I heard a lot of shouting and noises and then it became very still. Some time later my doorbell rang and I was scared at that point but a voice shouted they were police. They told me with a big smile hey, that hobo sleeping here was actually a woman and she is your new neighbor. She is very well known by the police, so good luck with that. We saw a lot of her, mostly unconscious. That stank was her normal smell and she had an adult son living with her who was the same. Every morning when I went to work they were coming home from the supermarket with a shopping cart filled with the cheapest beer. But they never harassed us or talked to us. He refuses to let his wife speak to anyone. She tried to wave to someone down the street and he grabbed her arm to stop her. He's called the police at least 40 times on most of the neighborhood. And he even tried to file a restraining order on US. Despite him trying to attack my dad with a tire iron. And then BSP. Also two years ago for Halloween his decoration was a fake grave in his yard with our family name on it. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.